And meteorologist John Hickey with his five degree guarantee. This is WENY HD News. Good morning, Twin Tears. Thanks for joining us. Yes, good morning to you and happy Tuesday. We had uh, some severe thunderstorms yesterday, a lot of power outages, mm -hmm. and we could see more of the same today. Yeah, even lost power right here at the WENY studio for a while yesterday, and a lot of you at home lost the power too. Over about 2,000 customers for a time in Chemung County right. alone. Yeah, so uh, more thunderstorms, a good possibility today, whether they become severe, whether you lose power and they will be tracking all afternoon. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the Crystal City Sky Cam this morning. Off to a decent start there. Some fog, you can see it. You can't really see too far out on the horizon there on the, uh, on the Sky Cam shot. You probably only have about a half mile to a mile visibility in and around Corning, but there are spots where it's down to about a quarter of a mile. So be on the lookout, drive carefully when you approach some of that fog. Now, speaking of some of those storms yesterday, Take a look at this. All these dots here on this map represent a storm report that was picked up by the National Weather Service. We'll take a look at a couple of them. Uh, horse heads, we had some wind damage as well as some hail reports down in Troy, PA. Uh, one inch hail reported there and as these storms began to move towards the east, started to see not only that, we saw some wind damage and some hail. Newfield, one inch diameter hail. Actually had a picture sent in from Jolene on Facebook. We thank you for that and all the photos that you sent to us. And uh, as those storms continue to move off towards the east, hail actually got a little bit bigger in size. Hey, nice catch, huh? Didn't drop the clicker, although I did turn it upside down. Let's get to some of your weather headlines for today. Uh, we are in for another Triple H kind of day, hazy, hot, and humid. We've got a five degree guarantee up to 90 degrees. More storms on the way for today. An isolated threat tomorrow, and then on Thursday and Friday, a better chance for storms arriving. Cooling temperatures, though, as we head in towards the weekend, when highs will be closer to about 80 rather than 90. 64 right now at the airport, and all around the tiers, we have temperatures generally in the low to mid-60s. 62 in Tawanda, 63 Ithaca, 69, the lone exception up there in Penyon. We spin the map around for you. Some other local temperatures, 62 in Lansing, 65 over in Thurston this morning. So satellite and radar is quiet this morning. Not a lot going on outside of uh, some of the Apache Valley fog. It's actually a pretty clear start to the day. It, oh, it is quite humid. Here's your 24 hour planner. There's your five degree guarantee of 90 degrees. If we do in fact hit 90, that's three days in a row of 90 plus. That would be our first official heat wave of 2013. Temperatures tonight right back down to the mid 60s and with the rain falling today, We'll see some of that patchy fog forming once again overnight. So chance for storms today, all thanks to another ripple of energy in the upper levels of the atmosphere over the thumb of Michigan, heading eastbound, kicking off some of those storms. Let's time it out for you here using Future Track. This morning, all is quiet, all is calm, all is bright. I guess, isn't that one of those Christmas songs or something? All right, future track this afternoon though, six o'clock here. Storms firing up once again, and we'll be tracking them, especially if they become severe. And then towards tonight, we'll see the storms dissipate. Isolated storm threat exists for tomorrow. We'll see about one or two of those firing up, mainly down towards the south. But then everyone under the gun again for both Thursday and Friday, better chances for storms. It's actually about a 60% chance. Going into your seven day forecast, temperatures cooling towards the weekend, but the storms threat is still there. We'll have to see just how many storms we get over the weekend. For now, 40% chance that may be increasing though 